think if someone had walked in that night of my accident and told that 14-year-old girl that in 12 years' time, she was going to have an MBE, be double world champion, have five world medals and two Paralympic medals, she would have laughed in your face. And I love what I do. I get to travel the world and meet incredible people, push my body every single day. It's incredible. My name is Samantha Kinghorn, I'm 27 years old and I was brought up on a farm in the Scottish Borders. I still remember the day like it was yesterday. My best friend had got snowed in at my house. There was more snow than I'd ever seen before in my whole life. We had eight to ten foot drifts on the farm. My dad was really struggling, animals were dying. Um, it was really, really horrible. So I went outside to help my dad with my best friend in tow and the dogs had run out of dog food, so we walked down to the shed to get more. And as I was coming back up the road, my dad was driving a forklift. And then, for some reason, still to this day, I have no idea why I decided to do this, but I jumped onto part of the forklift, just underneath the, the main arm of the forklift. He started to lower the, the beam down on top of me. I remember feeling an immense amount of pressure on the top of my spine, and then it just popping. I remember before I felt any pain, I felt guilt because I was so lucky to be brought up in a household with both parents loving what they do. I see my dad go out to do a stressful job, a full-time job, all year round job, through the night, through the day, like all the time. And above all else, he loves me more than that. And I could have just ruined those two things for him in a split second. You're gonna die and your dad's gonna have to deal with the loss of his daughter and Will he ever want to farm again? It was a horrible, horrible feeling. And then I remember my head was like pretty much in my, my thighs. Uh, I was crushed down to such a small little space. I had pins and needles running up and down my leg. Like all my muscles were um, like spasming and then relaxing individually. And then they all kind of seized up and then they just stopped. And that was the last time that I felt my legs. I had nobody to blame but myself. I was taught from such a young girl that machinery has no mercy for human life. You do not touch it, you don't go near it. And I did. I think the worst moment for me, that whole event, was my mum and dad walking in and my mum just screaming, my baby, my baby, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And my dad couldn't even look at me. And I think I knew that he was finding it harder than me. So while I was still in hospital, I was selected to go to the Spinal Unit Games, which is a thing that happens every year in April. And I tried everything. I literally tried every sport, and it was the last day. I remember the nurse waking me up and saying, right, we're going to try athletics. And I remember laughing in her face, being like, I can't run. I don't understand what you're expecting me to do here. But yeah, I remember going down to the track and seeing a girl in a racing chair for the first time. and. I was just speechless and that doesn't happen very often for me at all. And I was just watching this girl going round. By that time I was 15 and being cool was probably the most important thing to me. And I was like, that's cool. That's what I'm going to do. I remember um, phoning my mum and dad and being like, guys, don't worry, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be an athlete. My dad's motto was always, when we, me and my brother were both growing up, was always, life can be very short or life can be very long. So why would you spend any of that time doing something that you don't enjoy? And I watched my dad go out and do something he enjoys and still does enjoy every single day. I think, I think that's one of the biggest things that I hope I've shown my friends and my family is that life can literally change in a split second and people need to stop just thinking, oh, it'll be fine. Because the one day it's not fine, it'll be the one day you wish you'd done something about it.